Hello and welcome to Lord Lucan. In today's episode, we'll be taking a tumble over the life of Lockup Pothole. We'll see Dirty Derek trying to get a word in edgeways. Then Chance makes some decisions. Okay. Oh, and and Flinny is in it too. How you doing, young lady? Well, a hello and a double shot of love to those who've subscribed and a flaming Sambuca to the lords and ladies of the Lucan Manor. This Monday, we have Sean of the Shed and Sarah joining us for a game of the Felony Weds. So don't miss that. And the week after, we've got Deontay joining us for a live stream called Agony Uncle Deontay. But I'll tell you more about that in the week coming. Right then, settle up your favourite stud and hold on to your chaps. It's gonna get bumpy. First of all, we're off to Chicago to watch Between Our Fingers as Dirty Derek gives another masterclass in fidelity and trying to excuse his sisters. She still she wanna crazy. fight. No, she's crazy. No, she's crazy. She, she crazy. I guess he's saying she's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> way to go, Derek Stein. He's always slagging off one side to the other and wonders why no one likes him. Then there's a knock at the door. Any nervous? And the editor throws in some dub. We in this big. Hit this big. Hang on a second, we TV. It's my job to do the trolling around here, and don't you start doing it too. Anyway, it's slow mo's relatives. <laughs> How are you? Well, they nearly got close enough for a kiss, but Latoya Clouseau means business. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> and Dirty tries to reason that it's all part of a normal relationship. You know, everyone accidentally falls in ten vaginas. We have our ups and downs just like any other relationship. And the reasonable discussion begins. Wow, this isn't going to burst my eardrums. I feel like at the same time, we wasn't together. Ah, the old... We were on a break! Excuse. And the ladies discuss it reasonably. I was together, but she was holding... But then Captain Core Blimey at the back has something to say. The thing she told us... Go on, Captain. You've got this. I imagine he's not used to getting to talk around this lot. But I'm with you, Captain State the Obvious. Get that point out. Is what we can base because if you're no, how we no feel. Enough. Well, spank me alive with a bag of beavers, sharp as a brick. But there's a point there somewhere. Slow-mo is like Dirty D. They both talk negative about the other half and then wonder why the people who support them have a problem. It's like, I have no idea why my family don't like you and it's totally got nothing to do with what I've said to them. And the discussion continues. But the onslaught continues. We, we, we did. We did. We did. Okay. No, no, y'all not get past it. But then there's a noise which drives more fear into Dirty D than Freddy Krueger driving an 18 wheeler. Boxers. <laughs> oh dear. But in a kind of Pavlovian way, this stops the rabble. How about that? The Dirty D is on the hook, and it's time to him to start querming. No, it's not funny because it's, it's go, go, old, go, go, go. it's old. Yeah, of course it is. My phone likes to remind me about old messages all the time. But Dirty D deletes the message and tries to make good his escape. Why are you, why are you leave me? How you leave it? And after all that commotion, Latoya Cluso figures out something's going on. Wait, you deleted something? Yes, yes, Columbo. That's what all this noise is about. What the f he deleted? What do you think he deleted? His fidelity? His eardrums? But don't worry, he didn't delete dinner. It's got to let me see. <laughs> Back in the limb room, and slow mo shows she's not as slow as we might have thought. That's no, let's go to recently deleted. Wow, she's got moves like a jaguar. Yeah, you're gonna need longer arms for that, Dirty D. Meanwhile, over in Missouri, Magnum PI and Elliot Mess are on the case. Track that bitch. Yeah, for real. 
He must really think that I'm stupid. Well, he can't. It's the tracker for the car. At the bar, Chase is raising a toast. It's a friendship and good health. Good decisions. Well, well, judging by the way he said that, his decision making has included a whole bunch of those shots. Good decisions. Well, and yeah, good decision. To you, yeah, good decisions. Here we go. Because this is clearly one of them. But Elliot Mess has arrived and is getting the most out of her fag. Okay. I mean, cigarette. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. You can't say fag in the USA, but over here, fag, 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 fag. Nah, context, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes it's with you, sometimes it's not. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> What's wrong? Is he serious? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're here. Maybe because he's insecure. Maybe because you're the world class. <laughs> and she just says it's nothing. Damn it, woman. Leave his lying ass. His toxic behavior is doing nothing but damage this woman. He needs to be taken down to the vet and put down. Tyler deserves more from life and this waste of flesh and oxygen is torturing her. And why the hell doesn't Bobby step in and kick his stupid ass? Clearly Tyler hasn't got the stamina anymore. Could have told me. Yes, yes he should. Or taken you along to have a drink and relax. It's because he's a lying scumbag and should be locked in a very small box. I can't tell you anything because you want to argue with me of course so he goes on the defensive because that'll make her back down his form of defense is attack and it's nothing short of abuse you instantly just started yelling All right, i'm her. sorry i'm sorry oh so tanya gets a sorry but tyler doesn't what kind of mess did i get myself into there's another nice mess you've gotten me into they say the definition of insanity is repeating the same actions and expecting a different result but i think the definition of chance is Anyway, uh, meanwhile, over at Amber's house. Bills out of my name. I need that truck out of my name. Over in Tampa, OG Westwood is giving some fashion advice. Why would you wear that, babe? You look nice, but like, he gonna know you're pregnant. Suck your stomach in or something. Yeah, of course you can. Just suck that baby in. Bloody hell, woman. Stop looking so pregnant. Hey, Dad, I'm married. Sorry you wasn't at the wedding, but we actually are pregnant now. It's like double whammy. Well, it's all that whammy that got you in this mess. Eddie, this is Cameron. How you doing? Cameron, doing, this brother? is Aaron. Nice to meet you. Wee, that's a face that says he's got nothing to worry about. These people got the exact same face. Thanks. Yeah, nice one, OG observant. You can see some resemblance in their features, and I'm sure she'd be super happy to hear you say that about her. Why could y'all take a year, two, or three, or whatever? Or four, or five, or ten. In fact, why don't you just not? So, Aris explains by doing an impression of some silly. You know, don't worry about financial stability, not arguing about his rap hobby, the drinking, the lack of communication, the living separate lives when not being filmed, the lack of understanding about the father's feeling, the smashing up pictures, the need to appear gangster all the time. But yeah, apart from all that, things are really great. I don't know who he is. That's what Cameron Sun said. Well, apparently he's a big deal rapper. Come on, haven't you heard of the super duper rapper OG Cam? He's massive in Cincinnati, you know? Well, maybe maybe that one song he did, presumably. Uh, I want you to tell me that you love me while you rub on my back. Cause that's fire. Or, you know, something that'll melt your face if you get too close to it. But maybe Aris can sit down without giving away that she's pregnant. Oh yes. Oh goodness. Yeah, nothing pregnant about that. Slow down, and don't have no kids yet. Hmm, well, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if OG repopulation is going to need boxing gloves or a defibrillator at this point. Anyway, he's over in Ohio, and Sarah is meeting Anthony. How you doing, young lady? My lady? Yeah, because that's not creepy at all. I just don't like this guy, and he could at least have changed that T-shirt. And yes, he still has the aubergine. Uh-oh. Touch my daughter's milkshake and you'll be scraping those Oakleys off the wall behind you. You know why we're here? 
No. Maybe just chilling out with mummy's special friend. Maybe just another thing she'll have to lie about. Why don't you tell me, aubergine head? But they do that reverse symbol sound effect and we cut to somewhere else. Back with puppy who's living with Queenie. This is ridiculous. Over we go to see Marshmallow and who? Even though we've been having our difficulties. Nobody cares. Back in the world of the big deal rap, huh? This is amazing. Bumble around with the bumble bumble baby. What you think about that? The stepfather, little girl. Well, probably she feels like you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. I feel like he's really nice. Mmm, that's an endorsement if I've ever heard one. But Aris has a little heart attack she'd like to give him. I want to let you know that I'm pregnant. What? But don't worry, he's fine. No, I live life to the fullest every day. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure she does. With all those holidays abroad, bungee jumping, bucket list ticking, life experiences. Yeah, she's living to the max. And her dad totally believes her. Back in Chicago and Dirty D has pulled out his industrial strength shovel and is trying to dig himself out of trouble town. I don't got nobody sending no pictures to me. <laughs> of course not. Like he didn't totally admit that in the last episode. I can't believe that he would even do me like that. Absolutely. After those first 10 times, then after those other times, and the woman who nearly got pregnant. Yeah, totally unbelievable that he'd do it again. What you gonna do now that you're seeing all of this in his home? I'm yeah, of course you will. Hang on a second. Have you ever thought that slow mo looks like that witch from Dark Crystal? Anyways, Dirty D lays down a deal. Well, then, I guess we're gonna have to wait till the next episode to find out. In the coming edition of Lord Lucan, we'll see that Chance is doing the dance. We'll go straight to AA meeting. Drunk. <laughs> Dirty Derek will be doing a dance. Nothing. And OG Daddy of the Year makes some noise and stuff. And I pop out with this t-shirt with the baby son. So until then, beautiful people, stay beautiful. Love to my three. And you take care of yourself.